Hi everybody and welcome back on the channel. Again, I uh, mentioned before that I wanted to stream this game because I've, I've never played it and I thought it would be a, a good opportunity to try it and to, to stream it directly and share my thoughts directly as I play on the channel. Um, yeah, I was not in a rush to play this game to be honest with you um, because I didn't hear very good stuff about it but still it is a... Uh, it's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Panzer Dragoon, so since I have a little bit of time, I'm going to stream that today. And uh, I'm streaming on Twitch, but I will repost on, on YouTube as well. Thank you. Let's go. When we came here, it was to start again. Draco was a new beginning for those fleeing an overburdened Earth. Draco was a second chance. The first humans to arrive on Draco built a massive city, reshaping and taming the land. But we discovered that Draco wouldn't be so easily settled. From the planet's depths came Crimson Scale, a virus unlike anything we'd ever encountered. In the pandemic that followed, the city of our founders collapsed, with countless lives lost to sickness, panic, and fire. It was from that time that the Seekers arose, holding together the last remnants of humanity. The Seekers created Icarus Division, a group composed of those with the ability to commune with the dragons that ruled Draco. Since then, a hundred years have passed. So this game is made the Seekers by, uh, train and organize the Dragon Riders of Icarus Division, of, uh, using their skills uh, to protect the colony from the harsh of environs of their adopted planet. Now, the Seekers and Icarus Division are all that stand between humanity and extinction. A newbie? Please tell me this is a joke. It was my first time out with Icarus Division. I've been assigned to a recon team, orders to excavate the site of an ancient ruin. Icarus Division needed someone whose experience they could count on in the wilds of Draco. Apparently, I fell short. Sorry, kid, but I need someone who knows what they're doing. Not a freshman flyer on his first set of wings. Does Command even understand the situation we're facing out here? I suppose you'll have to do. Our radar's picked up an anomaly just beneath the planet's surface. Looks like some kind of ruin. Our researchers think it might predate our arrival on this planet. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something that'll help us beat Crimson Scale once and for all. My first assignment with Icarus Division had begun. Yeah, I can tell you right away that I'm not too fan of the art direction here. The dragon design, the characters, futuristic uh, environments. Do I'm not too fan me? of that. Damn it, rookie, wake up! Each dragon has its own personality. Yours is considered an especially gentle breed. You having any trouble handling it? Okay, you, you use two sticks. Don't let your guard down. Our sensors are picking up a strange anomaly in the area. Keep a close eye on your surroundings as you fly. This is more of a tutorial phase. I can't shoot. I'm just learning how to move my dragon. Change skill.
Okay, I can tell you right away, it's not... It doesn't feel as responsive as uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta or... Or Rez. I played a little while ago. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel as smooth as uh, the game I mentioned. I'm not sure what, what it is. And yet I'm playing on Series X. Probably isn't any announcement. Uh. What the hell is that? I've never seen anything like that white dragon before. Command's gonna want samples. Follow it. Yeah, th there is some latency here. I don't know. It's not, yeah, the way it locks, it's, uh, it doesn't feel as snappy as uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta or even Panzer Dragoon Spy, I don't know. There is something here that should have been patched, I guess. They probably didn't do because it didn't sell enough copies. I don't know. Just my impression here. Not too fun of the... The way it feels, right? can dash with a sort of uh, roll movement, which is uh, an interesting, you know, novelty, if I may say. But overall, yeah, it doesn't feel snappy enough. Are playing a night game, <laughs> we can get some collectibles or not sure exactly what I'm supposed to collect them for. I don't know what these items do. But hey, let's try to get them. Maybe they uh, heal me. Okay, so clearly the studio who made this didn't have the same talent for optimizing as the, the team that worked at Panzer Dragoon Alta and, and uh, Panzer Dragoon Spy. I'm not saying that to be, you know, mean. I'm just, I'm just stating a fact, you know, the way it plays. doesn't feel as satisfying, you know, because when you play a, a race shooter like that, you want to feel things to be responsive, right? So this is something that was criticized about the Panzer Dragon remake, 
when it first launched, and I can understand that. Uh, it was a bit improved over the patches, but this game has something. Not about it looks okay, but there is some. The aiming is okay, but that's the the latency here. I don't know. It doesn't feel nice. Probably gonna have to stop talking about that now. Okay. Oh. White Phantom spotted. Repeat. White Phantom spotted. Spread out. We haven't seen this thing for a decade. Why now? Fall back. We aren't prepared to take this thing on. Repeat. Fall back now. Fall back, damn it. Yeah! Ah! Look at this dragon. I don't know. For me, it's a bit strange. It's I don't really like this design. You know, it's not. You can't do a spiritual successor to Panzer Dragoon. You just say because it's you read a dragon, it's a spiritual successor. No, Panzer Dragoon has such a unique uh, art direction, a unique lore, and here pff, I don't find that in uh, Crimson Dragon. But let, let's continue playing a little bit. It's said that the riders of Icarus Division speak the language of dragons. In our dreams, it was easy to believe we had become dragons ourselves. The Crimson Scale virus changed us, shaped us into something else, something more. On the back of a dragon, it was easy to feel invincible. But the White Phantom was an eternal reminder that we were only human, and that Draco was not our home. Draco would never be our home. That recon team was made up of seasoned vets, and you're the only survivor? You must have some serious luck, kid. The last time the White Phantom showed itself, even the full force of Icarus Division was barely enough to keep it from destroying a colony. Anyway, that was then, and now isn't the time for a history lesson. I'm Sana, your new commanding officer. Fall in line, fly straight, and follow my orders, and we won't have any problems. Now, let's talk about your next assignment. We haven't been able to track the White Phantom or this White Reaver since they took out your squad. But we're hearing chatter of possible sightings in nearby regions, with subsequent increase in infection rates. I can recognize the sound of Saori Kobayashi, which is a nice, nice thing, at least, <laughs> in this game. Uh, I can really uh, recognize the sound, it's so unique. We don't have confirmation from the researchers in command, but between you and me, there's no doubt in my mind that these beasts are spreading the virus. Our latest report indicates a highly infectious crimson scale outbreak in a heavily populated region. Command is concerned the creatures nearby have been infected. We can't risk another widespread outbreak, Recruit. We need you out there. We can't risk letting any carriers travel outside this region to spread the virus further. You're the only person we've got that survived an encounter with the White Phantom. With a little luck, you might even be able to help us finally put a stop to this thing. Hmm, so it doesn't seem to be a linear game. But I don't really like that the way it's set up. Select skill, what the hell is that? 
the hell? Let's begin. So they tried something here. I can give them that. Even if I'm not too much of a fan. I don't know, it's the way it's... The look, the way... We'll see what I can do with these credits, I'm not sure. Okay, it's, it's a... I can see what they are trying to do here. Trying to offer something a bit different, okay. from the formula that we all know. It's it's nice, it's nice. D. <laughs> That's very good.
Mhm. Okay. Okay, so I did not manage to tick all the boxes. Get no damage and beat every Vespin. Well, maybe every enemy? I don't know. Cool, cool, cool. The Crimson Scale pandemic ended long before I was even born. But minor outbreaks were a constant danger on Draco. Most of the infected die a quick death. They're the lucky ones. There are those the infection doesn't claim. They survive the sickness living, if it can really be called that, in a sickly, weakened state, marked with the scaly lesions that gave the disease its name, never truly recovering from the ravaging effects of the virus. And then there are those like me, the Dragon Riders of Icarus Division. I was just a child when Crimson Scales struck my village. I could only watch, helpless, as my entire village succumbed to it, one by one, until I was alone. But the fever passed quickly for me. I woke stronger than ever, and found I was able to commune with the dragons that ruled Draco's skies. It was then my destiny was written. Kid. Why did they show a woman? As as you look. If I have a male's voice. Look, I know you didn't choose this life. None of us did. The fact is, Draco doesn't want us here. Every creature on this planet, from the biggest dragon to the smallest, wants us gone. But you, me, and the rest of Icarus Division are the last hope for this little slice of humanity. And we're not going anywhere. Your abilities give you a chance at survival, but you need to work with your dragon if you want to up your odds. The dragons are truly incredible. They grow fast, and learn even faster, depending on the amount of battle experience they gain. But their real power comes from their ability to adapt. Feed your dragon a sample of a creature you've encountered, and they'll evolve new abilities. Our researchers at the capital think this allows them to adapt to a variety of habitats. Some riders go for increased offensive power, others for a strong defense. Just pay attention to your dragon, and it'll let you know what it needs. In any case, I'm expecting great things from you. Just make sure you don't let me down. So I can feed my dragon. Ooh. I'm giving him everything I've got. Let's see what it does. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels like a... Ch somehow it feels like a cheap mobile game. At least in the menu, you know, with the credits. This is something the cell phones do, you know. With the daily... Daily gift. Uh, like you have a special currency and... Uh, I don't know. I can't. Mm. Let's continue the next mission. How do I know, how do I know what I've already done? Mission twenty percent. What does that mean?
Okay, I need to From do a training. From time to time, you may find it useful to take a wingman out with you on a mission. Before you can do that, you'll need to learn about the division of duties in a two-man team, and how to use your combined abilities effectively. Hmm. Let's try that. Why would I want to manage several dragons? I don't know. It breaks the bond I have with my unique dragon. Just my opinion. But uh, Your wingman is where am I? behind you. Try calling them forward. Thank you. A good wingman I know. the difference between life and death out in the wild. Okay, okay, okay. Now I can access. What is that? The Two missions. Of infected with crimson scale is climbing rapidly, and they're displaying increasingly aggressive behavior. Orders from Seeker Command. Okay. I don't think I will be able to uh, beat this game in one go. It seems to be pretty beefy.
Ultra Gleeran. Unusual creatures for this planet. Usually pretty gentle. No predatory instincts to speak of. Okay, I can't even see my reticle here because of the of the light of the sun. I don't know. It's not very well thought. I'm still not feeling this game. I don't really like the art direction, I don't really like the way it plays, the gameplay, it doesn't feel snappy enough. What am I doing now? Is he dead? At last? What? You've got some Gleeran joining the fight. Be careful. Those things are huge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I going to die, really? Seems that I'm dead. Oh, can I continue with my items? I can cheat. I'm going to end it for today with this game. I don't know when I will uh, continue with this one to be honest with you.
Level up, cool. Yeah, let's end it here for today. Uh, thank you for joining the the channel. Thank you for uh, uh, yeah uh, following us as always. Uh, be sure to to stay subscribed because uh, there is some cool content coming regarding Azel Resurrection as well, and uh, there is also a podcast coming soon on the channel. So again, thank you for your support, and uh, see you later. Thank you and stay safe. Bye bye.